Hi everyone, uh, this is Jim Partridge. I am a modder and a mapper, and this is Deep Down, which I made. Um, this is map 3, uh, which is the tunnel map, so we just finished the hotel. And now we are heading on through the road tunnel. Um, I said in an earlier video about tunnels being very useful. Uh, they are, uh, for driving maps, because you can cover a lot of ground with them. Um, the problem is that... I'm just going to switch no target back on again, because uh, I want this to work as expected. Um, the problem is that um, I had a lot of tunnel here and I didn't detail it as much as I should have done. A lot of people said the tunnel area was quite bland. I agree, it was. Um, having given more time, I would have spent more, uh, done more to it. What I also wanted to do was have maybe a lot more gameplay where you could climb up onto the wall here and, and go into rooms and stuff like that and explore more. And I just, don't know, I, I had other areas I thought were more interesting, so I didn't spend the time on doing that. The only bit of detailing I really did was adding tons of these decals all over the floor into the corners as if paper had collected and crap, but it just doesn't look very good. Whatever. You cover it in fairly quick distance and, you know, it wasn't a major highlight of the map. One thing we do have, uh, secrets-wise, is we have these crates here, uh, which, when you pull them, uh, they release a bunch of fast head crabs. Um, which uh, kind of brings me to a theme around the fact that the player should be punished for, um, I don't know, or sometimes punished. I just realised I haven't got any weapons, which is kind of annoying. Um, anyway. the uh, So, you know, if you pick up a thing, it's quite fun sometimes to, to, to release something onto the player once they've gotten a bonus, if they've found something. Um, a little consequence of, of poking around. Okay, so the APC chase, um, I had this idea quite early on. I wanted to, you know, the player to actually be uh, neck to neck with an APC. Um, I didn't realise how difficult it was going to be to make the APC do what I wanted it to do. Um, they are not very intelligent, they've got an incredibly wide turning circle. Um, they're not very good at getting around corners at all. So, a, a more interesting. Um, approach so what I did was was I had to create a tunnel like this so it's like a trough basically uh, the the APC can't really uh, get out and it's kind of funneled down the corners um, I got Alex to say that uh, you know when they were sort of coming around get her to move out of the way because she was right there in the middle um, and then just rocket the thing to death um, this wasn't very, in, uh, it's not very engaging, it's a fairly easy fight, this sort of fish in a barrel. Um, some people might find that the APC doesn't reach you. Um, if you end up having a tussle with it on the way round, um, you can uh, you can knock it off its, sort of off its track and it can uh, have a problem with that and it won't ever make it through to the end. This marks a really important point in the development of this map, this barrier here. Because I built all of this, I had this piece working, I had a couple of the maps before it complete, almost complete, and I reached this point here. And I had map 4 done, which was the mines further on. But my mind just went blank as to how to, what to do after this point, after this corner here. I had no idea how, how I was going to link the various pieces that I built up. Um, and then eventually it just occurred to me that this should be a puzzle where, you know, this is a barrier that you need to raise and that you would need to go elf elsewhere to do it and come back again. Um, it works, kind of. I think people didn't get the point that they were supposed to head on down the tunnel. It's dark. It doesn't look very pleasant. It's not um, very well indicated that you're supposed to head this way. I think the flare helps because it kind of is a point of interest for you to go and have a look at. But it's still not enough. There probably should have been more going on. Uh, it's a big area and um, players tend to not want to head into big areas too much I think the other comment it would have been nice to have some zombies here maybe um, it's quite a creepy area and I think the idea I had originally was to head down here and then as I came back there would be like a horde of fast zombies would suddenly appear and come after me um, and that Alex would be on a mounted gun down here shooting them all as they headed down uh, as it was it kind of turned into something slightly different to that. Ah, now they're shooting the G-Man. 
who's down there. Uh, there's another site. There he is. That you can just see him walking away there. Uh, they're not supposed to do that. That's a bug. Um, but that's okay. Okay. Um, I thought we'd turned no target off. There we go. Um, the other thing I think a lot of players got a bit frustrated with was the fact that they didn't realise that this was here. Uh, they didn't realise this was the way forward. So they were heading up here. They were following. Some followed the pipe, which is the whole point, is that the the barrier is connected to the pipe and there are wires and the wires are running. So you follow the pipes down into this section here. Uh, not very well signposted. Uh, and uh, this door is locked, so you have to find a way in. Um, and then a lot of players, you know, sort of, faffed around here and tried to get through there and couldn't make it through so uh, bad signposting on my part I mean the fact that you know you've got this manhole cover and there's no other manhole covers throughout the entire mod um, I hoped would be enough but apparently not for some people uh, it's a little not quite obvious enough probably should have made it see through okay um, there's a head crow down there so I just set fire to it with a flare which is satisfying Okay, um, so I wanted to change the pace of play at this point as well. Obviously, we've done some driving and stuff like that, and I wanted to have a, a kind of an explorey bit. Um, once again, we're sort of uh, foreshadowing where we're going to go at this point, and just uh, instead of using, I've said this I think in my last video, yonks ago, uh, about my level design video about using fences instead of walls. Um, it really opens the map up, so I can see where I'm going to go, see where I'm going to be etc. Um, the ladder puzzle down here, um, I think most people thought it was a fan puzzle. These fans aren't running for some reason. I don't know what's going on. Strange things are occurring in this mod at the moment. Um, and uh, the I think pe people thought it was going to be a fan puzzle, and it was at first, and that's why it looks like a fan puzzle. Uh, as it is, I turn it into a ladder puzzle just because it was becoming a bit more annoying. There is a little bit I added here uh, where I had the fast zombie attack you. Uh, that caught a few people by surprise. There's a dead end with an attack because you've kind of got it wrong so you're slightly punished for that. Um, obviously the uh, the correct solution is to grab the ladder and put it in place, um, which is not entirely a Half-Life 2 function. I don't think we've really seen it before, and it's not really something. Uh, I just didn't want to do, you know, like the turny wheel puzzle or any of those, um, so I thought it was slightly interesting. I think some people struggle with it. Um, but I do give you a nice reward of a few batteries afterwards, so it can't be that bad. Um... I added quite a few physics props here. This is kind of one of my patented toys. Um, is the the fire axe? Uh, I had it in um, daylight as well. I used it in a couple of places, and it's just yet another thing to be able to attack the fast zombies with. Unfortunately, I put it behind glass, and I think a lot of people didn't realise it was available. Um, It's not very useful either, really. Yes, I know, I think I'm gonna die. That did not go very well. Um, okay, let's see if we can get out of here alive now, shall we? I certainly just made it a lot more challenging for myself. <laughs> like that. Um, I'm all the way back here. Okay, let's do this fast. Speed run on this map. Uh, actually, what we can do is we'll just leave it on no target and keep going. Um, okay. Um, but I mean, I, I had quite a few people say they quite like the gameplay at this point. You know, a lot of the zombie killing, uh, etc. Uh, I've just lost the ladder. There it is. That's fine. Yeah, it's not a very good game, is it? I don't know who built this. It's shit. Um, okay. 
the uh... ah, okay so yeah I totally understand why people didn't like this puzzle um, <laughs> speed running is not necessarily the best way to go and ladders don't make good physics props come on got it um, okay And I guess that kind of brings us back to a point that it probably would have been better to do more playtesting. Um, towards the end, as I was getting ready to release it, or thought I was ready to release it, I, you know, I got pretty, um, I got pretty antsy. I really wanted to get this done and get it out of the way. I was getting kind of annoyed with it at that point, so I, uh, so I did. And uh, you know, it shipped with bugs and all. Uh, I had to release several different versions of the map um, to. Um, to complete it, uh, to several different versions of the map bit afterwards uh, to fix various bugs and stuff like that. Um, okay, fine. So you hear the buzzer. That these these gates don't actually open; they just disappear. The brush just disappears, but you can't see it from in there. So I thought by the time you get back out, it looks the same. Um, you get the idea. Okay, so heading back down, this was the point where once you'd open that, you, there would be like a horde of fast zombies that were going to come after me, um, which might have been fun, but um, that didn't happen. Um, just so you know, for those that are interested, um, Alex's responses and that kind of thing are all handled using um, scripted sentence, I believe. Um, no, it's AI um, choreographed scene. Um, and there are a whole bunch of scene files in the game. At the time when I built Deep Down, um, there was a problem going on with the actual game. There was a bug, and a lot of the scripted scenes for Alex weren't working. So I had to really pick and choose from a very, very limited library of uh, s phrases and sayings. Um, I'm just going to pause before I change level. Um, there were, uh, yeah, and only a very, and, and as I was continuing, the bug was getting worse. So the the library of phrases that she could actually say was getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. Uh, that was fixed after I released with the uh, the Steam Pipe update and the change to the file structure of uh, Half Life Two. But at the time, it was a real pain in the ass. Um, so I only had a few things to use. I could have done a lot more dialogue, and I didn't. Um, that was map three. And from what I've heard, people considered that to be probably the low point of the mod. Um, it was filler to get us from one point to another, is all I can say about it. Um, but we're getting on to better stuff, I think, now, so let's move on. <laughs> 